okay we will start yeah sure yeah so um, good evening all of you on behalf of uh, uh, the typography society of india i would like to extend a warm welcome to our distinguished speaker today mr anup gupta i will introduce uh, give a brief introduction about him uh, anup gupta uh, is a graduate of applied art from college of art delhi with more than 3 decades of work experience in the publishing industry anup has the privilege of working with india today economic times business today business standard business world india today group online times of india mint and hindustan times he has been instrumental in designing and redesigning some of these publications where he has also built and managed the design competency anup gupta is presently the managing editor integrations with ht media limited and is a member of a core group that is spearheading a major change at the hindustan times by implementing an integrated newsroom leading the editorial track in the project anup along with other members of the core group is rethinking the way a news organization should and will operate tomorrow he has recently spearheaded the rethink and redesign of hindustan times he is married to piyali datta gupta a design consultant and a soulmate for 34 years they have a 12 year old daughter pia and live in delhi on behalf of uh, the entire team of uh, typography society of india i extend a warm welcome to anubda please uh, over to you anubda thank you so much professor shikumar and um can share let me just call you let me just let me just call call you shri um, yes please yeah i will be delighted to do that <laughs> or would you prefer prof no 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 shri is much better <laughs> thank you shri thank you so much uh thank you very much for that warm welcome um and uh, thank you everyone for being here on this um, web webinar let me just set myself up a little bit it's going to take a little time there we go so i was um, when 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 she asked me to speak about the redesign journey i was quite excited to be very honest um it's been a long long journey for us as you can see we started in 2018 and we finished in 2020 the work happened in bits and pieces over these two years two and a half years and finally when we finished it and we implemented it on the 31st of august it was just the beginning of another journey right at the very beginning when we when we started to work on this project we asked a few questions we asked a few questions that we wanted answers for and that would tell us how and why is it that we needed to redesign hindustan times um the last redesign that happened with hindustan times was in 2009 and as we all know since then and now in 2020 we don't really have a readership we have an audience so it was very important for hindustan times to adapt its brand persona in a manner that it resonated with this audience and appealed to their emotional quotient as well as their intelligence quotient to be able to do this properly we undertook a fair number of uh, uh, studies to analyze and identify the audience and their need gaps and what we have tried to do is to present a solution that addresses this need gap but it was very clear to us that the brand persona of hindustan times that needs to resonate with the audience is one that is threefold authoritative credible and one that provides clarity in today's day and age these three values 
are a very important aspect for the audience that reaches out and looks for knowledge. We went very deep in trying to analyze what that audience was like, and we broke it down into four categories to see how they all behaved, what was their uh, exchange, how they overlapped, and how they consumed content as it came to them. And we realized that though millennials were in a very small number of years, they were a very critical part because they were a large part of our audience or the audience that we want to reach out to. We also wanted to reach out to Generation Z, Gen Z, because they are the future. They are whom we would want to be associated with. We found during the research that we did that the usage pattern, and there is, there is no prizes for guessing that this would have been the case. Uh, we found that the baby boomers were consuming the news from newspapers, information from newspapers, and they depended on the newspapers for entertainment. They did use their mobiles of late to, to communicate, but that was basically it. Uh, Dada, can you make it full screen? Yeah, I am on full screen. Okay, okay. I am on full screen. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, I'm surprised that it's not changing. A colleague of mine is just coming. I can see the me. I can see the small thumbnails on the side. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh. All right, because I I I am just uh, casting it from here. You can. Yeah. Just a second. Let me just. Yeah. You may just want to do can, present. Can you, can you see this now? Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, now great. it is absolutely fine. Yeah. Great, 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 great. So I was in the present presenter view, and this is what happens. I did my trial run, but I didn't realize this. <laughs> my apologies. My apologies. No, 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 no issues. Okay, shall I continue? Please continue. All right. So um, when we are seeing it, when we when we look deep into the usage pattern for our for our audience, we realized that they would um, uh, consume news, the baby boomers would consume news on the newspapers. But when we got to the millennials and we got to Generation Z, we found that they just did not read the newspapers and they were looking uh, more at their mobiles and the digital platforms. So it was very clear to us that whatever we did, we had to reach out to this audience. But the other thing that came up and was very interesting for us is that while they did consume all of their news, they, they, they got all the news, but they believed only what they trusted. And they all had their uh, own set of trusted channels. We also realized that there was probably a new ink at play. And this is a coinage that we put together, which is the correlation between information, news, and knowledge. Information that is ubiquitous and all around us, streamed on our mobile platforms and our devices of choice. A lot of this information is put together by various agencies, collected and presented as news, as what we see on television channels. Uh, and of course, when all of this news and information is put together and you extract by analysis the, the, the juice in this, that's what is, is knowledge. And that is what we believe is something that would play very well within the Stunt Times and Trend. I just spoke about the mobile information, television and news, newspaper and technology. But what we also realize after speaking with a fair number of uh, people in our focus groups, that we needed to establish a visual montage, a, an image with our readers that spoke of what we stood for, clarity and credibility. So we decided to create a crest, which we never had, in the Stan Times, never had a crest. There was a fair uh, amount of discussion, um, a fair number of uh, uh, sessions, and ultimately we settled for this option, which, which captures in the Stan Times as a button, clarity and credibility as what we stand for, and other aspects that denote the journey as well as 
our readers who have been with us for all these years. But this was a challenge. Changing the branding that was established in 2009, the lowercase Hindustan Times in black and blue, which was quite dramatic at that time, and probably the organization thought was in times in tune with the audience that we want to reach out to. But when we decided to change this, the question was change to what? In various conversations, what repeatedly kept coming up is that we are a newspaper which has legacy. It's 96 years old. Listening to all of that, we decided that why don't we go back and explore what we had in 1924 and build a version from it. We made a few drafts. We, we experimented with it. We again went out and we tested it with our audience. And ultimately, we came and settled at this. A drawing that was further refined and given this shape by Tobias Ferry Jones, a leading typographer from New York. Over a period of month and multiple exchanges where we refined various aspects of this nameplate, we finally settled on this and decided to do an inline version for the masthead, for the nameplate, as we carried it every day, as we carry it every day in our main paper and also for our Sunday edition. We made slight variations to these, took the HD button out and, and correlated it with the other brands that we have, the key brands that we have, HD City, HD Branch, which is a magazine that we do every weekend, and a new product that we introduced. HD Weekend, shortened to WKND. We also decided that we needed a new font set, a font set that would exude the sharpness and crispness of the nameplate. We changed the full lot that we were using to just these three, Suica, Bernino, Placker. Suica is, without any doubt, our um, pivot font, as I would like to call it. It was designed in 2008 for a Swedish newspaper. My apologies if I don't produce the name of the newspaper properly. Svenska Dagblad is what I've been told it's pronounced as. It was produced by Mario Feliciano, uh, a typographer who's based in Lisbon in Portugal. And even by his admission, this was probably one of the toughest um, commissions that he had uh, produced. Uh, the interesting thing about this font was that Swedish language has very long words and the challenge for him was how could he design a font that would not be uh, compressed, be legible, and yet have a very nice feel and flow to it. Here is the full set for Sueka that we have adopted in various forms. Of course, we're not using all of those. We're using only a few of those. And um, as you can see, um, right from the serif to a sans serif to a slab serif, they are all there and catered to the different tone and tenor of different parts of our product. They were all designed, as Mario told us, um, completely independent of one another and they, they, they maintain their own character and identity. I'm going to play to you a few of these uh, fonts that we use. So this is HD regular, Sueka HD regular, which is what we use for our body copy. Sorry, so you can regular is what we use for a body copy, but not the others. They are used for our various other aspects. This is the sensor version, the slab version. We have used the slab version for our features offering, as you will see in some of the some of the pages that I show you later on. We also realized that we needed a, a nice sans serif font that would stand 
the pressures of using it in, in tables and in graphics. So we moved to Bernino Sense from Retina, which is what we were using earlier. And the last font that we adopted was Black and Pro, which is what we use for our uh, name plates and page heads only. Here, is, uh, here are a few options that we have of our pages, the page one and the, the very next page to it, which is uh, titled as page one plus, which is actually a new introduction in, I think in, in, in Indian um, newspaper industry, which is, which basically contains all the stories that should have been, that could have been on page one, but could not make it there because of space reasons but are important nevertheless. What we try to do on this page is to give a lot of short stories and also create a panel on top inspired by the Insta stories. And we hope that our younger audience will be engaging with this page quite a lot. The reason why I put the opinion page is because to my mind, and for many of us who've been part of this redesign, this opinion page embodies what we stand for, credibility and clarity. We have a very clear structure in this page for opinions that we invite various writers to, to send to us and which is what we carry on these pages. This is the voice of the paper. A few styles that we have uh, developed from the fonts that you saw earlier that appeared in the paper. A few of our um, additional products, HD Weekend, which I mentioned to you earlier, where we have used slab setups for our headline styles. So the body copy remains in Sueka. Um, HD City, which is a very busy young um, city supplement, which is completely dedicated to uh, entertainment and lifestyle. And of course, our weekly magazine, Brunch, where again, we've taken the slab setups um, as a headline style. There is no denying the fact that you've come a long way and the Stan Times has come a long way in 96 years. Here are some of the nameplates right from the one that started us off in 1924. And pretty much that same nameplate, the same black letter styling went on to 1960s, late 1960s. And then we changed to the others. So with Optima and Knockout and, and, and Bonus. And finally, we have settled, I hope, on this. We also hope that this will be a much more uh, lasting solution for the newspaper and will last for a long, long time to come. We had on the project two consultants. Um, and thanks to their guidance, we were able to produce what we did. Maria Garcia who was a consultant um, who validated the, the solution that we produced, and Tobias Perry Jones, who did a wonderful job with our nameplate. Last but not the least, the team behind this whole effort, that's me in the foreground, taking the selfie, Dr. Garcia, and four of my colleagues, Monica, Molloy, Puneet, and Lolita. They all brought to the table their individual expertise in multimedia, in analysis, in, in coding, in illustrations, uh, in three-dimensional 3D modeling. And they actually contributed quite significantly to this whole effort. Well, that is all that I have to uh, offer over here. Um, and if there is, um, there are any questions that have come up, I would be glad to take it. Over to you, see. Thank you very much, uh, Anupta, for your wonderful presentation. Uh, I Thank you. Ask, uh, everyone uh, who has questions, please, uh, at, uh, who are attending Zoom, please use the chat box and uh, write your questions. I will check the YouTube and the Facebook live feed. Oh, and um, I will read out the questions, whatever I got from the group and all that. 
Rather, just give me a minute. I'm just checking. Sure, sure, sure. So, there is one uh, question, sir. What is the typeface used for the brunch weekend? I love the high contrast. I think you are. Uh, like I said, in the yeah, please can. So, like I said, we have stayed uh, true to the Sueka family, and because of the range that we found there, we didn't have to um, go out of that. What we have used for the headlining in um, the weekend section is Sueka slab serif, and we have used the extreme contrast within that thin and black within that to be able to create that play. Um, it was extremely tricky because the headlines will have to be written in a certain manner to be able to, to, to kind of form those headline um, styling. But it's been about four weeks and we have not had too much of an issue with that. We used that for our weekend section and for our feature offering. So you'll find the same typographic approach for the weekend section as well as for brunch. <sighs> There is one question uh, from YouTube. I am surprised at this emphasis on print design while targeting an audience that consumes everything on their phones. How does that work? Well, I'm not surprised that this question has come, but, um, and quite honestly, um, it should have been the other way around. Um, but given the fact that Hindustan Times print version is still the flagship, of the publication, um, we have built the solution uh, for print, but this solution is also very soon to be ported to our um, digital platforms. We encountered a few issues with our CMS, which is why it's been delayed um, for a few for a few weeks. But very soon you'll see that. But what we have done, um, and it's still work in progress is we have allowed um, for our readers who engage with the print product to be able to get an extra experience on the digital platform. So we are carrying a fair number of QR codes for um, people to use those to see a video, to listen to a podcast, to uh, listen to a, a, an announcement by Prime Minister Modi, we, are also, uh, we have also introduced a concept called the social cards, which is what you saw on our uh, page, page one plus, the blue, blue panel, which then appears with our Twitter feed uh, and all our social media feeds that then extends the branding on the uh, social media platforms. Um, we should have had it by now, quite honestly. Um, and had we not had this, the problem of switch over to a new CMS that we're putting together to make things easier, we would have been out with it. But very soon, you will see it. There is one, another one is that why are those uh, these cards you are mentioning, why is it only in 100% sand? Uh, what I haven't included in the presentation is the color palette that we have introduced. The color palette is a very critical aspect of this whole exercise, though I focused more on the typographic aspects and left that out to keep the conversation, the, the presentation short. But we created a nine color color palette, which primarily uses a two color combination and is easy for our printers to achieve consistency day in, day out. We have, we had to have some continuity with the past. Mm, okay. And in the past, you would have seen that we had used black and blue. Now that blue that we had earlier till, till 30th of August this year was a three color combination that produced the blue. And it was always a nightmare to produce. Because you had a lot of registration issues. Huh? 
it not just registration see the printing depends not just what you have on the page from the editorial side printing also depends on the advertising that comes with it hmm. right so as to be able to maintain the advertising and the colors in the advertising you have to tweak the channels on the press and it's very often you end up inking pushing more of cyan less of black and that creates a tremendous amount of dissonance on the other side of the of the paper to be able to tackle that we went into nearly a month long trial with these colors and finally we settled on the blue the other reason why we settled on the blue it's a cool color right it's a color that we think our a younger audience will associate with right it's yeah. a bright color we had the choice of going with a warmer color but um what we realized also after speaking to a lot of people on focus groups that they did prefer the blue and also because it it, it formed as a continuation with the past so that was primarily the reason okay okay so that is why Uh, Tarun is asking: Is the new blue only cyan and magenta? No, it's just cyan. It's seventy seventy six percent cyan to be precise. <laughs> okay. Then there is another question: Is a typeface carries a emotive purpose too when used in newspaper or journal? Absolutely so. Absolutely so. and that is precisely the reason why we opted for sweka if you look at the font it has a certain crispness it has a certain freshness about it um it exudes um a fair amount of confidence right as she also uh, she also um, mentioned yesterday when we had our practice run it is a very credible looking font right and that that was a very important decision making point for us um quite honestly as in in many um, exercises that i'm sure many of our, our listeners would have performed they would have gone through a fairly long process of selection of font we were lucky we had really got lucky this was a font that was uh recommended um by a, a friend of mine from australia um and i and we all fell in love with it <laughs> i think we are a very strange group breed of people who fall in love with news fonts absolutely so and good and good for that yes yes there is another question is did you consider the smaller format like the guardian you know um this has been the elephant in the room in the publishing industry now for a long long while and surprisingly what dedic- what dictates the format is not necessarily um um uh, the design what dictates the format is the viability of the format um i started my career over here my stint over here at uh, uh, hindustan times with mint and at mint we had a different format a different form factor of berliner and we struggled we struggled really hard so while uh, probably in the west for various reasons of portability um and many other um, reasons probably a smaller format um has been accepted and implemented and why uh, a berliner even a smaller than that a small berliner size has also been experimented with is is in play actually we never did that because most of our advertising and most of our newspapers they are all in the broadsheet format um in 2000 uh, when the web width reduction happened we did reduce the web width and now pretty much every newspaper in the country is on uh, a 332 uh, mm web width uh, a little here and there somewhere around 228 somewhere around 332 somewhere around 330 but by and large the same range 
the only success story that I can think of is one of the things, one of the products that I worked with with Times of India, which is Mumbai Mirror, which has been a runaway success um, in a smaller format. And that I think has a lot to do with the, um, with the of course, with the economics, but also with the consumption pattern, because the way that um, a Mumbai Mirror is consumed is entirely different. And it's the second paper, it's the second paper from the um, Times of India House. It was meant to plug any gap in the, uh, um, in the uh, reader's pocket, any opportunity that could be grabbed. And boy, did they grab the, the opportunities. It is wonderful typography. <laughs> yeah. And uh, next question is, the paper still has eight columns. Doesn't this give problems of uneven word spacing with justified setting of main pages? Actually not. <clears throat> um, how you uh, how you play the the column the 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 typography in your columns by and large um, can be adjusted, right? Um, why do we have to be on an eight column grid? Again, it goes back to that same old uh, devil in the room, not the elephant, the devil in the room, which is advertising. It is not, it's a, it's a, it's a happy devil because that's how we survive. But traditionally, um, newspapers have all worked in column centimeters, right? And that is the way that, uh, of course, they have now moved to square centimeters, but still, the age-old practice of using column centimeters is still in play. So if we have to play with the rules that are there, which is column centimeters and eight-column eight grid, we need to tailor our typographic specs in a manner that we do not have to deal with these kind of uneven spaces. Um, fonts like Sweka really help us and to be very honest, while we did lose a few words on a page, we lost approximately about 4% uh, on a full page of solid set. Um, it was a, a very welcome compromise. Um, we were very happy with the end result. And uh, uh, interestingly, um, a lot of our older readers who have always complained about the legibility and she don't kill me for this. They complained about the legibility of Nimrod. Nice. Um, it's very hard to believe, but so be it. Uh, without any prompting, um, we got a fair number of letters to various of our editors, especially in the regional areas, Chandigarh, Punjab, Lucknow, UP, um, Maharashtra, a couple of people sent emails saying that, oh, it's become a lot easier to read. And by and large, all of them were the older readers. So uh, what we, if you look at the paper, you'll find that the gray value of the uh, pages is pretty even. Um, we have been able to uh, manipulate our hyphenation and justification in a manner that we were able to do. We paid special attention to our pair kerning tables um, to go and address them. We did not embed the pair kerning tables in the font, we kept the pair cunning tables on the uh, CMS oh. method that we had so that anybody who used the font separately would have the option of using it the way that they wanted. The person who asked the previous two questions has a comment also saying he found the weekend cover stunning. Sorry, come again? He found the weekend cover stunning. Oh, then thank you so much. So maybe you should go and visit our e-paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very proud to say that we've been able to maintain this for the last four weeks. Oh, okay. Let and me... by the way, this, this sits opposite the edit page. So in, in the consumption of the, of, the, of the spread, in the contrast that it delivers from a text heavy gray page on the left to a bright, uh, brilliant, attractive, page on the right. It's a big release, yeah. it, it, is, it is definitely the chutney at the end of the meal. <laughs> okay. So, you know, Sudhir Sharma, the 
founder of Pool Magazine. Yes, of course. I know. Written, yeah, I am very happy that he saw the program. He has written that great job, Anu. I love the new monogram back to beginning. I only found the vertical rules a bit of clutter. Okay. Um, I, I thank you very much, Sudhi, for um, um, placing your comments. Um, for people who, um, like Sri, you know, that we did speak with Sudhir also to, to participate in the project for whatever reason we could not make it. Um, but thank you very much. I will take into consideration, as I did yesterday, uh, Professor Shikumar's comments on certain aspects of the crest. Um, and we will consider them and we will try and see what we could do with it. Next is from uh, Professor Tarundeep Girdhar. He is a co-founder uh, co of this Typography Society of India. A very good friend. You don't have to introduce uh, Mr. Girdhar. Who doesn't know him? Yeah. So he has uh, asked, is the HT website also going to reflect the same typography soon? Currently, the website uses open. We understand that more and more people consume the latest news on screen. Absolutely. So I did mention it a little while ago that that is one aspect that should have actually been in play by now. But we have encountered uh, some unforeseen circumstances as, as technology always throws at you. Um, we would quite clearly, there is no point in having a, a, a completely different experience on a website. Um, we all have seen how integrated uh, global sites are, whether it be a New York Times, Wall Street Journal, LA Times, uh, Washington Post. The experience starts there, so to speak, right? I believe we would have, we should have gone digital first, um, but for various reasons, like I said, for technology reasons and um, um, a couple of other things also, we have not done that, but this philosophy will definitely reflect that. We are gonna take, um, we've already acquired the uh, WAF2 fonts that will play out on our um, digital platforms and they are currently in a test phase. Uh, there is a question from our dear friend Deepak. Yep. Hi Anup, how is the feedback of the new design in term of market perception? To be very honest, I am quite swept off my feet. Um, other than some um, very close friends who have made, uh, given me some uh, critical feedback also, by and large, the consumers and advertisers, um, they reacted very positively. Um, I have, I thought that the nameplate would, would meet with some amount of resistance, um, but really there was no resistance. It was taken very, very well. And as uh, days go by, I have had messages from various people who have said that um, they have liked it and it's, it's growing on them. And that's what I think it should. We have a long way to go. We have just created a framework. Right? And how that now gets implemented um, on a day-to-day -day basis in the paper as it goes out, there will be some days which are good, there will be some days which are bad. Um, we haven't had really a bad day as in the last one month. Um, but yeah, there could be some ups and downs. But by and large, we hear uh, a very steady acceptance of the, the concept, the philosophy, the, the look and feel, the persona. Um, all of it. Then there are uh, some more things from Tarun. Mm -hmm. Mostly designers use InDesign for publication design. For years, the industry was also using Quark Express. For the benefit of the students, what software is used at HT to do the page layouts? Could you share some information on the layout workflows? Mm -hmm. Do you also send pre-press files in PDF? Well, um, I mentioned a little while ago that um, 
or probably I didn't. In 2016 at Hindustan Times, when we read in our newsroom uh, and when we went integrated, one of the biggest uh, return on investment, and it was a fairly large investment, was to be able to make our whole production process more efficient. And in doing so, um, we did a deep, deep study of all our 26 editions then uh, to come up with a, a, a common um, workflow that all 26 editions could adopt where there would be very little uh, human touch to the pages from one location to the other. And in doing so, we uh, implemented and adopted uh, a content management solution from a company um, in um, Italy, um, IDOS Media. Their solution method is what we have implemented at Hindustan Times. And all our products, all our products, um, only branch is sitting outside because it's a magazine. All our products are on method. The advantage of that is that we can make the pages anywhere in the country and the stories can be picked up for editing anywhere in the country or actually for that matter, the world. Um, so we are not on InDesign, we are not on Quark. Having said that, and uh, to be uh, loyal to my one of my previous employers, Quark Media House India Limited, where I worked for a year, um, we do use um, these products to do the conceptualizing offline. And then once we have conceptualized it, translate that whole concept um, onto our uh, CMS platform, uh, primarily because these platforms are meant for production. Uh, they are not design, designer tools, so to speak. So they're a little clunky, though I believe, and I haven't seen the, the um, next release of uh, Method, which is, we are right now on Method 6 and Method 8 has been released which is closer to InDesign. I believe they've included a lot of features that InDesign has, and it's a lot more designer friendly. Um, but yes, we, we uh, do design on these platforms um, and then translate them into method. As far as our design workflows are concerned, um, we believe in having conversations very early on. So even when a concept has, is being brewed, is, is being explored with. Um, we have conversations with the editorial team so as to explore the opportunities that exist in trying to uh, play it out online as well as in print. Um, it is important to do that because um, when we go out collecting the information for these stories, our reporters will, should then have the knowledge that will help them um, collate all that information that can then be converted into a video, maybe into a, a piece to camera, maybe a podcast, or even a, a, an interactive graphic. Um, so that is how we go about it. Ultimately, when they come back to the office, they come back to the basis, they file what, what they've collected, we go through that and we then curate it in different ways. Maybe a story that goes in print, but a lot many more things play out on our digital platform. Um, and ultimately, of course, we publish it. Okay. Next one is from Saikath Mandal. How do one understand whether the typeface of the newspaper slash journal slash magazine is playing a role to make it successful among the masses or not? Every good publishing house and publishing house which means business like us. After the product has been launched, constantly keeps checking with the audience whether there is there are any pain points. And over a period of time, you collate that information and then you look through it to see if there are any things example, the typeface, example, the colors, example, the formats, that is not working. After about a month or so, 
we do a deeper dive, and that's what we are planning to do, um, to assess which part of the product worked well and which part of the product is not working as well as we'd like it to be. And we go back and tweak it. One of the reasons why we took that approach that uh, one of our participants uh, did mention, the HD weekend uh, format, is because we realized from the conversations that we had, we had had with the focus groups, in the focus groups, that people said, yes, uh, you, you do have a, a, a weekend offering. It's called HD Think, I think. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, but uh, you know, I, the stories are far too long. And I keep it aside to read it later, and then I don't find the paper. So this is a usability factor that had to be considered this time that we were looking at the stories and looking at structuring the piece, looking at writing the stories. So our stories in the weekend section are no longer long. They are short, they are crisp, and they allow the reader, when they get the paper, when they get to the website, to quickly read the stories and move on and not have to put us aside for it to be read later. Okay, next question is, whenever I see new HT, I feel HT has gone youth eye-catching. Was that intention while redesigning? New Sorry, HT, come again. HT has? Gone eye-catching to the youth, the younger generation. Okay. Was that intention while redesigning? New HT looks fabulous. Congratulations. This is from Ashok Hinge. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ashok for your kind words of appreciation. Um, I will send you a little gift for doing so. I'm just joking. Um, but the fact is that we did, we did aim to get to that. We did aim, like I said at the very beginning, um, I don't think there is any opportunity for us not to appeal to the younger audience. Um, and during the course of this research in the last uh, month or so that we have been around after we have launched, we are constantly reaching out to this audience to see how the needle is moving. Um, unfortunately, this pandemic has hit us extremely hard. The feedback is coming in, but not as much as what we would have liked it to be. Uh, it will probably take us a little longer to get to collate how the youth has, has uh, uh, reacted to the, to the solution. But yes, we would like it to be younger. We would like it to be more with it. By with it, I don't mean be gimmicky to, to, to stay with the core values of a, of a, of a news um, uh, house to communicate. And that is also what you'll see on our website when we launch it. Anubda, I would like to share something very interesting with you. The person Please. who asked this question, Mr. Ashok, he's a wonderful painter in the works only with comma. Oh, really? The entire painting exhibition he had once I went to see, it was called Comma Scapes. How nice. Everything is different compositions of this and he is wonderful, very innovative work. I will, uh, maybe very rarely you come across a painter who works only with typographical symbols, you know. It would be wonderful to get in touch with him. Yeah, I will send a few of you through email and, you know, you should have a look at his work. You will Absolutely. realize there are so many cultural aspects, a lot of interesting paintings he has done just by using comma. Okay, the next question. Talent is, never ceases to amaze us, no? Exactly. It was an eye opener for me. I never thought two commas can make a wonderful, you know. How wonderful, how you know, wonderful. He once he made a Maharashtrian uh, fisher woman. Wow. Only with this comma and, you know. It was, if there is, a, if there is, if his work is there on any website, I would uh, I will ask him to send it to you. Please. Right? I will ask him to share it with us in our group also. Thank you so much. Next question is from Yogesh Jahagirdar. After looking at e-paper Mumbai version, flap 01 in brackets, half page left with half mastered. 
following on front page 01 full page with master cuts the master that t of word hindustan do you find any solution for such position of master you know the flap is a has become the necessary evil of our times um given the fact that advertising has taken up pretty much uh, a large part of the newspaper's front page um it it is a solution that has come to be there and we, and much that we tried to move things around um and save the mutilation of the nameplate um it hurts it hurts deeply um we have tried various options to look at it to save that nameplate but unfortunately we had to go with this uh the good thing is that the flap only happens uh, on rare occasions when we do have a uh, uh, fairly large volume of advertising on the front page um and i guess we'll have to live with it this is the reality okay i will take one question from the facebook you know sajeev kumar tk is also a very good art director yes by... newspaper designer yes he has asked this question before redesign ht gave importance to pictures in page 1 but not now too many stories if i say this time ht focused more on typography what will you say well i would say that i would not agree with him um because um quite honestly that is not the case and um i presume that he's also put that question to dr garcia um who whom he had interviewed over email i think uh, a couple of weeks ago um we do if one of the things that has been the cornerstone of our design solution this time around it has been the realization that what is it that a newspaper can do that the digital media can't and quite clearly it is the play of pictures pictures forms a very large part of our playbook this time whenever possible i mean just day before yesterday we used a four column image on page 1 and we we every day we do strive to use good pictures and there are so many of them out there so um i don't think that we have focused uh, one or the other sacrifice the pictures for typography um i it has not been a, a conscious approach um but yes there will be some days when um i will lose the fight with our editor and uh, maybe that is fine okay i will take the next question <clears throat> the new master takes you back to the 60s while the old one was looking like 2020 what was the reason for making it black letter and giving it a very antique feel which takes you back 50 years you know i i i love the play of words while the the question could have been it looks classic but the questioner says it looks antique but nostalgia sells nostalgia pulls at the at the core of your heart right um it always is 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 something to look back upon and quite honestly i don't think it's a it's a it's a bad idea to go back the second reason why i i think it was good for us to take this as an option is because in 4 years from now hindustan times the organization that i work for the paper that i work for will turn 100 and this will probably be the last brand change for a long long while so given the fact that 
from 60, late 60s to 2000, we have had a series of changes and I've actually lost count of how many nameplates have been introduced in this period. Um, I think it's, it's good to go back to what was classical. Um, we have tried our level best to make it sharp, crisp, um, contemporary, um, you know, and, and, and cleaned up the typography in a manner that exuded that clarity, confidence, um, and all of that. Um, and I would respectfully um, disagree with the questioner when they say that, um, when, when they in, imply that it's probably going back. It's not going back. It's, it's taking the story forward, looking back at legacy. I mean, that's what we are. Right? And we want to take it forward into a new narrative. Okay, I, um, I'll take the next one from Sajid Mohinuddin. Why has HT Cafe dropped and made HT City Mumbai edition? Any particular reason? Or because there was a HT City Delhi edition already there? First of all, um, hi Sajid. I hope you are well. Um, there is not a single day that has passed in this effort that I've not thought of your father, who was a guru for me, Mr. Moinuddin. Me too. Yeah, absolutely. I think we have a Moinuddin Students Association here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. My, my, my regards to you and to your family. Um, as anyone will tell you uh, who is dealing with brands, fragmentation of a brand across multiple areas, albeit in different geographical locations, is, um, is not a good idea. Um, you have worked with Hindustan Times, so you know about HT Cafe and the avatars that it has gone through. Um, and it stayed because HT Cafe, when we redesigned in 2009, uh, appeared as a very strong brand and the decision was that we should not uh, monkey around with it. So we did not monkey around with it. Uh, but now with the new um, change that has happened, it makes every sense when the whole world and the whole country is so unified um, that it that you have the same brand everywhere. It just doesn't make sense. In many ways, even if you look at it, though HT, it was called HT Cafe in Mumbai and in HT City here in Delhi, the brand personas and the branding itself was pretty much the same. So it there was a dichotomy in this whole thing, which we have, which we have cleaned up this time around. Okay, another one is from Anonymous. Uh, were there iterations with probably an Indic typeface and not something that is black letter? I couldn't understand the question very clearly. I, I think what it means is, did you do any iterations without the black letter? I think that is what, and using oh, Indic typefaces. Absolutely. In fact, um, here, probably I should mention um, an interesting thing that happened in the course of one of our presentations. We, we really did, I mean, given the fact that we've been working on this project since 2018, we did a phenomenal amount of research. And we really wanted to take the lowercase nameplate forward in what we thought was a modern, modern manner. Um, we explored... I think approximately about 140 solutions and ultimately we dwindled it down to about three. And those three were presented to our chairperson, Mrs. Bhartia. And she set us on this track saying that, you know, your, your, the newspaper is 96 years old. So maybe it should, it should speak of the legacy. Uh, maybe you can, you can look at it to see if there was any option in that. Um, this version a version of what we are currently using was one of those 140 odd solutions that we had built. Uh, my colleague Molloy, 
who worked very hard at it. Um, he he built um, an option for that, um, and um, we went back and revisited it. We drew a few drawings uh, initially. Um, my personal um, concern was with the A and the S, the H, uh, whether in its classical format, will it be legible enough for this newer audience? Um, and after having made a few drawings and compiled one full construct, we then reached out to um, Tobias. Um, and then you see what he has produced. Um, I'm absolutely amazed at what he has produced. And even though I say it, um, it, is, it is simply wonderful. So yes, we did explore quite a lot. And we took cue from our uh, chief client, as I see it, Mrs. Bhartia. And she put us on probably the right track. OK, I'll take the next one. Some headlines are in sans serif, some in serifs, while some headlines are also in all caps. How was it decided which way to go? The all cap sans serif is only limited to our single column headlines, right? Nowhere else in the main headline structure will you find anything other than that. We have deliberately kept the smaller sizes to a small serif and in caps. We have included um, otherwise, other than that, there is no other headline in the paper and, I'm, and we try and implement it fanatically. Okay, uh, uh, Sajid Mahinuddin has uh, sent a uh, message. Thank you, Anub. I am humbled. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Your Anub, father has been a huge influence for us. For yes. me. Everybody who has been mentored by Mr. Mahinuddin takes that legacy forward. And, you know, there is a and, visual grammar he taught to all of us. Yeah. And Sajid. I miss your mother's biryani and the kebabs. Same here, same here. <laughs> <laughs> Last time when I met her, she said she still makes that biryani. Oh, then I must, next time I'm in Bombay after this pandemic ends, please we'll do. go there, we'll go there. Yes. Absolutely. You can never forget the taste of that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I think we should have an association of Moinuddin students. I was so happy to be at the function where you honored him with the Lifetime Achievement Award. My pleasure. It was so good. Thank you. No one deserved it more than him. Thank you, Anubha. Yes, sir. Take the next question. Any special care that HT is taking for mobile website? AM oh, absolutely. No, it is not come. Uh, Sorry. Question is still going on. AMP stories, which is rich storytelling platform, are used by many publishers in the world. Are you considering AMP stories to be designed for your audience? Absolutely so. I didn't want to get into the technicalities of it, but it is precisely these things that is holding us back. Because the, the, the way that stories play out on the digital platform is so, so different and so, so rich. If we do not take all of these things into account, there is no way that we will be able to make our mark. And we don't want to miss the mark this time around. Um, so it's not just the CMS, it is how all of these things that will play out and our digital team is literally burning the midnight oil to make it happen. Um, they're working extremely hard at it. And I'm absolutely confident that when you see it, you'll see something which you like. That is good. Next one is, I like the look and feel of the earlier masters. Why recently changed and it looks like old age paper? I think we have already answered that. Yeah. 
because sometimes you know we have this coordination problem between different channels so somebody no who not listen to your conversation earlier might have okay i know we listen to everybody we we listen to the people who say that they didn't like yeah yeah the earlier one or to the ones who say that they like the earlier one another is from sridhar murthy he is asking uh, it is a revolutionary step up are you going with the same fonts for on screen also absolutely so another question is uh, i am a student of applied art please share some important tips to look at a font style how you and gv sri ask why to go for specific type style thank you so much for such wonderful session i think it is a question aimed at both of us so why don't you go for it maybe no, i can just no, no, you <laughs> you uh... well the only way to go about it and this is what i learned from my uh, first um, boss live breathe eat typography because there is no end to it was uh, mr patel arobin patel oh, i mean he'll kill me for it he'll kill me for calling him arobin patel uh, mr patel but arobin was my first boss and we were in mortal fear of him uh we as in me and my oh, wife next speaker oh i'm i'm looking forward to that i'm really looking forward to that um oh. and he uh, really initiated us um uh, first into the world of typography which was a completely different world and i came from an advertising um training so um publishing design was never even on my radar it just so happened that india today was looking for trainees and i did not get a break good enough in in the advertising world and i said okay let me try it for a couple of months and then i'll find something in between in the advertising world and and, and move um i never found Uh, i never tried very hard to be very honest because i quite enjoyed um uh, the 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 experience of working in the india today newsroom which was a completely different uh, world from where i came from everybody was on a first name basis and you know um, orbin was a wonderful person to uh, just sit and watch just sit and watch him work um yes he did make us work very hard and good that he made us work very hard and i hope that this gentleman who's asked this question also finds a boss like orbin who makes him work extremely hard i really feel so and so uh, how about you taking that question i uh, have something similar but because i am not very clear about the question because he is asking why to go for specific type style so i am not very clear about the question so well, important tips to look at a font style yeah you do you do go um, i guess you go for a font style because you want the, a unified experience um, you want you don't want a mishmash i mean of course indians love a thali but that does not mean that you give them a thali on a newspaper there will be no uh, the user experience which is which is a very important aspect um, one of the reasons why i think you need to have a language i mean you don't start uh, talking in multiple languages because that becomes very difficult to communicate it's a, it's a it's a tool for communication uh, it's a tool yeah. where uh, you you need to maintain a same tone and tenor the reason why we picked sueka was while it had the same tone and tenor it allowed us to move in style from one to the other and even then we did not mix them within the same offering we kept them separate yeah, yeah. so i will Uh, i uh, personally i will request that person who wrote the question to be slightly clear then i can answer because whenever i do a publication design it is all about the personality of a product and the personality of fonts to use for so i select and mix the fonts in such a way you can do justice to the overall feel and respect for the content which we are communicating absolutely so so the flavor of the font has to match what exactly is being communicated so absolutely so form has to emerge from the content so i look at a type style like that you know how do you select in such a way that they 
gel together and then the challenges that they had to disappear absolutely so the reader should not feel there is a type behind it so i think that i will explain later because i will really request the student to write in more with clarity i will be very happy to answer it uh sajid has written that it is long overdue come any time for biryani and another next question i'll take is uh, from nanki nag she is a faculty member at nid ahmedabad sueka super family and its faces evoke the new energetic spirit of ht many thanks and warmest regards for anup sir really inspiring and also lots of learning today uh, thank you another one <clears throat> how much do you think visual design is responsible for a news story like how is the design and importance given to each story do you uh, so this is from uh, somebody watching this in youtube yeah okay um uh, design should never <laughs> it should whisper so uh, and that is um, something that we strive to at times of course there are instances when you do have to raise the pitch and bar and you know can raise the volume just a wee bit um but it plays a very important role because if you are able to structure it well then the anyone consuming the story will be able to see the whole sequence as it plays out as you without being there in front of the person would have wanted the person to see it as right and that is the whole reason why we spend so much time on the information architecture how do you see what do you see how do you uh, sequence the whole reading experience whether it's the headline the intro the photographs the caption the graphic they need to fall in a certain sequence um it's a it's a big challenge when you put multiple such sequences on a page and uh, and and put together a page with five six seven stories which is why you need to uh, paste them accordingly you paste them in a certain manner that um it is pretty much like a room when you enter you enter through through the door and you see the most important thing the biggest item in the room you get to somebody's living room you you search for the place to sit you see where your the most comfortable sitting seating arrangement is you go and sit there figure out where you need to put out put your cup of coffee um figure out if the, if the host offers you something to eat you know figure out where to put the plate um and then navigate the room i mean you need to go in and out of the room and that's how probably a, a page is best designed successful pages are ones that i guess the reader navigates in this manner they just enter consume what they want and seamlessly get out onto the next page and therefore in that structure there are certain things that i would like to believe one should not place um, on the page for example do place your stuff we try and place most of our stuff in the center of visual interest which is just about about the mechanical center of the page and then and then let things play out accordingly there has to be a correlation between the various elements on the page otherwise they look fragmented they don't your mind then will react to say that oh this doesn't look good it looks cluttered that's because the way that your mind is processing the page the processing is not happening accurately so it's very important to get um a structure of the page right do we get it right all the time well sometimes yes most times yes but sometimes no and we try to do it better the next time around sajeev is asking uh, why teaser disappeared from the front page sorry come again why teaser disappeared from page 1 teaser oh. um i don't think they have disappeared it's said that they have uh, taken a different different avatar Uh, one of the things that i that we were very conscious about was um hindustan times is the newspaper of record 
Um, and we were very clear, and this is directly from the research that we did and also from the promoters, that it has to have, even if you have longer stories, you cannot sacrifice the smaller stories, which may have died during the course of the day, but you need to record them. So we do have uh, a solution for, the, for, for those stories that are recorded on the page. And you'll find that um, as in when our editorial team realizes that there are these kind of stories that have to be played on the page, they appeared on the page. Um, it, the, this, the same uh, device is also used inside, whether it be on the Metro page or whether it be on the Nation pages, it's also there. So we do have those devices, except that the way that they were played earlier in, in color patches with a bright orange uh, band, which I, I think was extremely intrusive. Um, if you look at the toner, toner well, well, value of the page now, it is, it is a lot more even, and therefore um, we can't afford to have that UI anymore on the page, but we do have those elements. There is another question. Is there any optical area in the newspaper? What do you think? Of course, there is an optical area in the newspaper. And why just the newspaper? In every product that you have, there is an optical area, right? It is. Um, it, it, it differs in various ways um, that, that research has shown. Um, the eye track study tells you what people see first, then they see less, then they work in a Z. Um, on the page, even on the website, it works in a Z. But by and large, what we try to do is to create the hotspots around the center of visual interest, which is the CVI, and that is just above the mechanical center on the page. So um, that's where your eye hits first. Um, it's not something that I claim, but it's it's, it's been proven by research and maybe uh, the good professor sitting in front of me can also elaborate on that. Um, but yes, that's how we, we try and work the page. Okay, so um, thank you, Dada. Uh, we will wind up here. With thank you so much. Comment, there is some uh, Sarma Nemani, advertising professional, saying HT lookwise great and stand, stands out. Designing, is, designing team is doing a great job. Then uh, Sajid is asking, would it be a good idea to introduce infographic section on the city pages like a dedicated space on local city issues backed by data? Readers love to consume data. It will work well when you translate this to your digital platforms as it can be sliced and diced in any way the user wants to see. Absolutely true. And... Um... Um, as if, if you look at our e-paper, you will find that uh, in this uh, in the last five months, we've done a fairly large volume of such packages. Um, if you look at our, if you look at our school edition, and that is something that I would like to definitely mention over here, we have a very robust school edition that is a six pager that currently is only an e-paper. Um, and in that, we have a data explainer that uh, takes up a topic and explains what a black hole is, um, how uh, cars are restored, what is the history of newspapers in India, um, and things like that. Even even for the for the COVID period, and I think we'll hit a very uh, we have hit a very strong period right now where there's a phenomenal amount of data out there. Um, the larger challenge is to be able to sort the data, to sort the data, to be able to extract um, meaningful um, touch points from it. Um, if you see Hindustan Times, we have uh, something called the number theory, which explains stories. Most recently we did one on the agri uh, conundrum that has been that is that is unfolding in the country. What it means, what does the MSP mean, and so on and so forth. Um, but yes, we do do we do data stories. We do data stories, but not uh, in the in the volume 
uh, in the main paper because uh, space is at a premium and though data stories do, do illustrate um, a story in a very different way, we, we reserve the space for our um, other stories. And whenever there is an opportunity, we do do it. I mean, there is, we've carried quite a few actually in the recent past. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much, Dada. We will wind up here. And I'm uh, on behalf of the Typography Society, I'm extremely thankful for agreeing for this wonderful session. We could uh, get to learn a lot from this. It was a very interesting experience you have gone through and the logic behind your uh, uh, redesign and their redesign project. And uh, to the reader, to the all the viewers, in case we have missed out some of the questions, we will be compiling it and asking this to Anubda later. And uh, his answer, everything we will compile it and publish it in our blog. So please have a look at our blog. I'll just share the uh, blog ID so that all of you can remember it. This is- May I, may I just get a word in over here? Thank you very much, um, Sri, for giving me this opportunity. Um, it has been a privilege and a pleasure to share these thoughts. Thank you. I sincerely much. hope that uh, people have taken away some interesting points and this is a work in progress. Yes, and it was very le good learning experience for all of us. And thank you so much. The entire typographical uh, decisions you have taken and how you took it forward. It was a very interesting case study. So talks like this is what we had planned when we started this attempt at getting all typography enthusiasts under one roof. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dada. So thank you very much. We'll All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Namaskar. Namaskar.